my third grade. Today we're going to do unit five, week two, day four. That means that the next lesson we will be taking the unit five test already. Let's get started with our drill sounds warm up. Repeat after me. A wash ah. A squash ah. A safe a. E peat e. E me e. Schwa, wagon, a uh, or i. Uh. You up a. Uh. You mule you. You rule u. O s t post oast. And i v e give iv. Great work. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is have a little fun and practice our dictionary skills that we were learning in unit five. So if you're at home, maybe you have your student notebook and that has the spelling options section that's like a little mini dictionary in there. Remember the spelling options section starts on page 44. It's like in the middle of your student notebook and you could use that as your tool. Um, in school, remember, if you've been there, we were doing a student dictionary like this, and we divided our sections into those four parts. And you might have this at home, or maybe you have another type of dictionary um, at home. If you don't have any of these tools at home, I would suggest just watching the video, but it is really fun to practice getting better using your dictionary skills. So when I come back, I'm going to pause my video and build a word. This word has a schwa in it, just like all of our unit five words have been having some kind of a schwa tricky vowel sound in them. So I will show you the word so you know exactly how to spell it. And we're going to have a race basically to see who can find the word first or see time set a timer at home and see how long it takes you to find the word which one of the words maybe could you find the fastest okay so i'll be right back with the word that you're going to find in the meantime try to locate some sort of dictionary to help you practice Okay, take a look behind me. The first word I want you to hunt for is racket. Say it. Racket, like a tennis racket. All right, so I have this tool here, and I know that if I look, the R is in which section? It's in the third row. So that means I'm immediately going to go to my third post-it note. I know that my R's are in there. Okay, and I'm going to get to the R's, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. Yeah, it's kind of towards the end of that section, okay? Once I find the R's, you know the drill. Find R-A, hmm. R-A-C, R-A-C-K, R-A-C-K. I'm still looking. E-T, I found it. Okay, so if you happen to have this same dictionary, it's page 269 if you do, but whatever dictionary you're in, were you able to find it? Racket. All right, good work. I'm going to come on with number two. Hold on. Okay, look up here and see the second word I want you to hunt for. It is cricket. Say it. Cricket. We have cr, c r i c k, crick, and then it is that e t it. All right. I know. Go ahead and start looking. I know that I'm in my first row here, so I'm going to my first post-it note and looking after that. Find the C's. You should try to get faster and think. C R. Hmm. L M N O P Q. Keep going. L M N O P Q R. Keep going. Oh, this one's taking me a little bit. Okay, I'm in the C R. It. I have to be getting close. C R I. A B C. Keep going. C I found it on page 84 in my dictionary here. Here it is, cricket. And notice we've been talking in class about the guide words. This first word happens to be crescendo. That means the first word on the page is crescendo. Over here, the last word is culpable. So that means that all of the words on this page fall between C-R-E-S and C-U-L-P. And does cricket, C-R-I, 
CK come in between? It does. Yeah, so I know I'm on the right page and then I was able to find it. All right, let's try another one. Okay, here's the third word. This should look familiar. It was one of our words of the day, this unit. Pollen, say it. Pollen. Find the P row right here, third row. Go to your third post-it if you have this at home. Okay, I'm in the M's. I need to go to the P. L-M-N-O-P. Here I am. Now P what? P-O-L. H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O. Mm -mm -mm. I have to think. P-O-L. I'm getting closer. Found it. That one was pretty quick for me, wasn't it? P-O-L-L-E-N for pollen. Okay, I got it. Way to go. All right, I'm going to do two more words. Give me a second. Okay, here's the fourth one. It should look familiar too. It was also a word of the day. This word is bucket. Say it. Bucket. B. Okay, so I'm in the first section. Go to my first post-it note. Find the B's. When I get to the B's, I'm getting faster. Come on, come on, come on. B U. Ooh, that's that's after B R. Mm -hmm. B U. All right, I have bush up here. It has to be on this page. B U C K. B U C K. Aha. Found it. Page 48 for me. Buckets. There it is. I did that one pretty quick. All right. And let's do one more. I like the next one. Okay. Here's the last word. Pretzel. Say it. Pretzel. This has a schwa. Okay. So we need to find, again, the P is in the third section. Go to my third post-it notes. What was the other P word? Oh, pollen. Okay, now I'm um, pretzel, element O P. It's after pollen. Element O P Q. Okay, P R. Pret. P R E. Pret. P R E T. No, oh, it has to be on this page. Pretzel. Pretzel. Hmm. <laughs> My eyeballs. Third grade. I can't believe it's not in here. Pretzel? Hold on. Hmm. I'm shocked that it's not in. It's really not. I know it because... Let's see where it should be. Pret. 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 And then it goes right to prevail. It would have been right in there if it was in there. Guess what I'm going to have to do? Go to my student notebook. I think it's in the spelling options section in this one. Find the P. Here we are. P-L over here. P-R. Here it is. So if you're in your student notebook, I'm on page what? 51? Pretzel. Hmm. I can't believe it's not in this one. That's a common word. Interesting. All right. Good job with that dictionary skills practice. Okay. The next thing we did in class was a little bit of lowercase cursive practice. We practiced um, connecting lowercase v's, then lowercase y's. Then we made some nonsense words, um, v-e, v-e, finger space, and then we did it a couple more times on that row on our own. We did Y-E-Y-E, -E, finger space, and did that a couple more times. And then we have some real words. So let's see if you can figure out what does this cursive word say. Yearly, right. Happens every year. It's yearly. So we traced it, wrote it over here, and then wrote it two more times on the next row. Okay, so see if you can practice that at home. This word, what is it? V vanish right so we traced it practiced it and practiced it twice more down below the last word this is a good third grade word it's a long one yesterday right traced it and same thing did it three more times on our own so if you have paper and pencil at home try writing yearly vanish yesterday 
Okay, and the last thing that we did was we got out our composition book and we're doing a dictation composition book. The page number that you need to turn to is page 16. Okay, so page 16 in your composition book. Please put up today's date. This is a good practice before our unit five assessment. Okay, up where it says sounds, I want you to touch number one. The first one I want you to write is ult. Say it, ult. Pause the video and write it, and then we will go over it. Okay, tell me out loud, what did you write for ult? O-L-T, colt, ult, correct? Okay, scooch over to number two. The next sound I want you to write is ank. Say it, ank. Go ahead, pause the video, and then write it. All right, tell me out loud, what did you put? A-N-K, here it is, bank, ank. Good work. The next sound I want you to write is w. Say it, w. Go ahead. All right, you should have written two things for this one. What's one? W wind, w, and write the digraph, W-H whistle, w. Put a comma in between them, right? Okay, the third sound, ch. Say it, ch. Pause, write it, and then tell me. All right, what did you write? Digraph, C-H, chinch, and, comma, digraph, T-C-H, catch, ch. Great work. Okay, now I want you to move down to the next section that says review words. Next to number one, you're going to write crashes. Say it, crashes. What's the base word? Crash, and then attach a suffix, please. Spell it first and then underline your base word, circle your suffix. Okay, here's how it is spelled. How'd you do with crash, underline the base word? And did you attach the proper suffix, E-S? All right, the only other things you could have done is we have a blend, we have a short vowel, we have a digraph that gets one underline, and that, of course, is a closed syllable, okay? Move over to number two. The next word I want you to write is biker. Say it, biker. What's the base word? Bike. Suffix, er. All right, spell it first and mark it up. Okay, here I have bike and the suffix er, but I need some help remembering. What kind of word is bike? Vowel dash E, vowel consonant E. And when I have a vowel consonant E base word and I'm attaching a vowel suffix, do you remember the rule? Right, we have to actually cover up the E and insert it, you know, when we mark it, because it's still, let's see, it's still a vowel dash E word because it has that long I sound, right? But, put a macron. But we drop the E and insert it up here before we attach a vowel, su vowel suffix, biker. A person who rides a bike is a biker. All right, good work. Go down to number three. The next word I want you to write is getting. Say it, getting. It is getting cooler outside as winter approaches. Getting. So our base word is get. Think about what kind of word that is, and then attach the suffix. Go ahead and try it. All right, let's take a look. I have my base word, get. I have my suffix, my vowel suffix, ing. But right now it looks like geeting. That's not the word I want. What kind of word is get? This one's not a vowel dash e. It's what? It's a one, one, one word. This is a closed syllable and it has only one vowel and it's followed by only one consonant after the vowel. That's a one, one, one word. And I hope you remember that after a one, one, one word, you have to do what? Right, double the consonant before you attach the ing. And of course, now look. Don't forget to star that extra consonant that you had to add, right? Underline the base word and circle that suffix for getting. 
All right. The last word I want you to write is kindness. Say it. Kindness. What's my base word? Kind. And then kindness. It's important. Go ahead and try. Okay, I have the word kind. Did you remember I-N-D, find, ind? And that makes this base word, it has that, what do we call that? It isn't really, it's not closed because that's a long I in there. It's a closed syllable right exception, okay? And then you could circle that suffix there too. All right. Get ready to move on to the next section. These are our unit five current words. They all have a tricky schwa. So remember, you can use your student notebook and use your spelling options section if you need to. All right, the first word I want you to write under current words, number one, is lemon. Say it, lemon. You should know lem and then in. Now think of the schwa. Try it. Mark it and then hit play. Okay, I have my first syllable, lem, L E M, but here in my second syllable, I have a question mark, but I know the end sound is N. What makes that lemon sound? Did you look it up? Right, it's O N. Remember in an English language, if it ends with an N and there's a schwa right before it, it's either usually an O, like in wagon and lemon, or an E. Okay, so if we were to mark this up, scoop the syllables first. Don't forget that on your unit test. This is a closed syllable with a brief. And this one is also closed, but do we put a brief here? That's the unexpected. This is the schwa. That upside down E is what you write there. Nice work. Okay, move over to number two, and I'd like you to write the word planet. Say it. Planet. Pluto is a dwarf planet. The first syllable is plan, and then you have to think, is it E-T or I-T for planet? All right, you try, pause the video, and then hit play. Okay, I know plan, it's P-L, and you know what? Technically, I get in a bad habit of doing this. I make extra work for myself. This is a glued sound, so I should have done that, right? A-N, fan, and for plan. Now, what's the mystery here? Is it E-T or I-T? Did you look it up? It is E-T. And yes, remember the only words, third grade, that end with the I-T that we've learned are habit limit. Hmm. So when in doubt, right, choose ET. All right, let's mark this up real quick. Did you scoop, plan it? Did you mark it closed? Did you put the breathe over the A there? And for it, this is our unexpected schwa sound. It sounds like it should be an I, right? But it's not. Good work. Okay, the third current word I want you to write is salad. Say it, salad. Today for lunch, I will eat a salad. sal -id. Now think, where's that tricky schwa sound go? Try it. Hmm, how'd you do with sal? All right, where's the mystery? Is it A, E, I, O, U? What do you think for salad? It sounds like I. This one's tricky. All right, it's A-D, salad. And then to mark it up super quickly, we could go faster. Scoop your syllables. It's closed. There's a breathe. And then this one is the schwa, even though it is closed as well. All right, let's do one more word to mark. Okay, the last word I want you to write is travel. Say it. Travel. Trav. Ull. Try it. Okay, here I have trav with that T-R blend. Trav. What do we put here for ul? There's a schwa. It is E-L. Great work. And then one last word to mark up. Let's go. Trav. Ul. Closed. Closed. Breathe. And I'm getting faster. <laughs> getting messier too. Shouldn't do that. Schwa. All right, great work, third grade. 
Okay, the next section is for sound-alike words. Go to number one. And the first sound-alike word or homophone that I want you to write is weather, but you don't know yet until I give you the sentence which weather, oh, or I could say weather or not to write this weather or this weather. Hmm. All right, so here's my sentence. I don't know whether to put a hat on my snowman or a scarf. Weather. Which weather did you hear in that sentence? I don't know whether to put a hat on my snowman or a scarf. Pause the video and then hit play. All right. In the sentence I gave you, you should have written weather when you're given choices. I don't know whether to put a hat on my snowman or a scarf. That's W-H-E-T-H-E-R. How'd you do? All right. The next word I'm going to give you is no. Now you have to decide. Is it this no or this no? You ready for my sentence? I do not know that answer. No. Pause the video. All right, which no did you write down there for number two? I did not know the answer. I hope you're saying yes, K-N-O-W is the correct answer there. Good job. Okay, move down to your next section, to trick words. The first trick word I want you to write is brother. Say it, brother. Go ahead. Okay, take a look. How'd you do with the spelling? Did you put B-R-O-T-H-E-R? There's actually a schwa in the word brother. All right, good job. The next word, number two, is carry. Say it, carry. Pause the video. Okay, how did you do with carry? C-A-R-R-Y, correct? Good job. All right, the last thing we're going to do is write one sentence. Are you ready? Capital letter. Do we have a time limit for this game? I'll say it again. Do we have a time limit for this game? All right, do your best. Do we have a time limit for this game? Don't forget punctuation and scoop your sentence. All right, let's see how you did. Did you start with a capital D? <laughs> This is gonna be a little sloppy. Do, D-O, we, okay, have. Do you remember that trick word? Let's go, spell it while I try my best. H-A-V-E. Do we have, how are you doing so far? That's my E. <laughs> Do we have a, that's easy, time. This is a vowel dash e word, right? You didn't write Tim, did you? Do we have a time? How about limit? Right, that's one of those ones. I know you can do lim. Now it, did you put I, T, or E, T? This is that one that has I, T. Fix it if you need to. Do we have a time limit? on this, or sorry, I'm sorry, it was for, there's a big difference, for this game. This is F-O-R, right? This, I'm sure you did fine with this, T-H-I-S, this is hard work. Do we have a time limit for this? All right, how about game? I hope you know that's a vowel dash E word too, not gam. G-A-M, right, E. Okay. What punctuation did you put at the end of this? Do we have a time limit for this game? You're asking a question. I really hope you remembered a question mark there. All right. Now, if we were to scoop, what do you think? Just, you might have a different way. I actually really like that too. Do we have a time limit for this game? Very good. All right, third grade, that's all I have for you today. Next time we will be taking the unit five test. So this was really good practice. Have a great day.